Ever since the Rugby World Cup in 1991, Le Manusamo has become a household name. Their recent tour of New Zealand was really popular. Here's Osone with highlights of the tour. It's on everyone's lips, Manu Samoa. Apart from playing highly entertaining rugby, this tour has been a learning experience for the team. Well, this is going on to five weeks now. We've played eight games on tour so far. We've covered uh, almost the full length of, uh, of New Zealand. And uh, the boys have really matured, you know, the younger ones have really matured uh, in the course of the tour. And the older ones, of course, uh, um, you know, there's much more of a togetherness and, and uh, better sort of coordination within the team. The main weaknesses have been uh, in our forward play. Uh, that has been a disappointing aspect of our of the tour because uh, we did very, very well against Scotland, certainly did well against uh, Auckland in the Super 10, um, but somehow the uh, our forward performance sort of dropped a little bit during the tour and uh, we're still recovering from it, you know, we're still trying to, to build up again and I hope things will come together today for the test. As soon as they hit the field, the Samoan backs put their opponents to the test. Strong running and good ball handling skills saw numerous tries scored. But with the critics picking the forwards to be the weak point, they were put to hard work at training sessions. Against the New Zealand University's 15, the forwards showed that despite their weaknesses, they had strength when running with the ball. I've been manager since 1989, uh, and this tour has been uh, the easiest so far for me. And uh, the credit for this goes mainly to the New Zealand Rugby Union and uh, in, in their organisation. Uh, the liaison uh, officers who are attached to the team, mainly Leo Walsh, our main uh, liaison officer, has been very, very helpful and, uh, and very flexible in, uh, in accommodating some of the, the unexpected sort of demands that come uh, you know, as a matter of course in a tour like this. So this has been uh, the easiest so far. And uh, naturally, uh, this is the one tour that I've enjoyed most. Mm -hmm. Without trying, the team caught the attention of the public eye. But it wasn't only spectators. The media also got a hold of issues that affected the team. One Network News filed this report. Once more onto the bus could be the motto for Manu Samoa's New Zealand tour. Today they headed out of Wellington, all part of a 2,200 kilometre tiki tour by road. After their first tour match in Westport, they ferried across Cook Strait, but then it was back on the coach trail. A total of 33 and a half hours travelling. Truly a bum deal compared with the Lions tour on which the players flew almost everywhere. Andy Hayden says it's a nitwit itinerary. These uh, guys are uh, obviously a major draw card and they should be accorded the same courteous uh, uh, facilities as the Lions had. But the Samoans, who've thrashed all three opposing sides on tour so far, are diplomatic. We're, we're happy to be here, we're happy to be invited and uh, you know, as I say, everything's going fine. I think they're very resilient sort of uh, people and I think they uh, feel as if uh, it's not their place to complain. But the travel-weary Samoans may want to change the week before their test against the All Blacks. We may uh, want to fly from Gisborne back to Auckland as opposed to taking a six-hour bus trip, but uh, we're, we're talking to the New Zealand Union about that at the moment. On the road again, the bus-weary Manu Samoa team faced the challenge of the New Zealand 15. Banger has the pace. Banger try! As they can. Although they played well, it was this game that really exposed the weaknesses of the forward pack. New Zealand close. That's Borovic. Borovic is over. Tonu'u ambushed from behind, but Coco stretches and loses the ball. But Farley grounds it. But Farley gets the try. New Zealand win it. Now the backs will they see it.
Long pass finds Clark. The cover defence comes. Clark almost through. It was a top performance from them and back to the drawing board for us. As far as we can see, uh, yesterday's going to finish history and uh, you know, the boys are back. They're in good spirit. Uh, you know, we're down, but we're not out and true to their word, they came back with a vengeance, notching up convincing wins against Counties and Poverty Bay. While the team shone on the field, they feel it couldn't have happened without the overwhelming support from the Samoan community. I suppose being, being what we are, being Samoan, you know, we have a saying, uh, you know, in, in our culture there are two uh, participants in, in any event. There are the participants, the active participants who are the team, and then there are the supporters. And uh, in, in our culture, the supporters are more important than the participants. Um, because you know, without the the supporters, you know, the particip participants are are performing to an empty, you know, empty house sort of thing. On the morning of the test, even more support flooded in. Faxes of encouragement, helping the mental psych for the battle ahead. On home ground, once again, good luck. It was a quiet morning for the team, and with the final touches to the line-out strategy, the historical aspect of this first test between Samoa and the All Blacks wasn't lost on the players or team management. With the fiery challenges from both teams, it was time for the battle to begin. With Samoa conceding so many penalties, the All Blacks points mounted from the boot of Grant Fox. And then there was the magic from Lee Stensness. But Samoa's reply came from the boot of Darren Kellett. Done, it was Ayalupo who crossed the All Black line. But the final score said it all. 